hello beauties you are welcome back to my channel in today's recipe i'll be sharing with you on how to make this very delicious chicken curry sauce see guys this particular sauce will make you eat and eat and eat it is so good and very easy to prepare let's just go right in into the recipe just adding your clean chicken into the pot i'll be adding some sazon everything needs about a teaspoon of this will be okay for the quantity of chicken i'm adding this cajun spice seasoning adding some white pepper i'll be adding in my seasoning powder and i'm just going to make sure that i stir this all together see if you have time you can proceed to marinate this but if you don't have time like me you just want something sharp sharp don't worry it's going to turn out tasty add about a tablespoon of butter you're just going to cover the pot and allow this to do its thing see you can notice that the one side is already brown so what you're going to do is to flip it over for the other side to get brown too that way you are going to have a very tasty chicken without even marinating it so this is just the method that i use whenever i cook my chicken outrightly so i'm just going to cover up the pot and allow this to also cook see it's already smoking up so just be rest assured that the chicken is going to be tasty right now just go on and add in your coconut milk i use canned coconut milk for this if you can't get canned coconut milk you can make yours at home i have a recipe on how to make your own freshly coconut milk so do where to check it out so add in some sweet corn and i'm adding in curry so remember this is a curry sauce so i added in about two teaspoons of curry you can use masala too so add in your water that will just cover up this and stir this for it to cook. One beautiful thing about this recipe is that it's a one pot dish. Who doesn't love one pot dish? That way you don't have pots to wash only one of your pots that you're going to use so once this is boiling up like this the aroma is filling the entire kitchen so right now you just proceed to add in your salt add in your carrot you can decide to cut it in any shape or form you want stir this together at this point now you can just proceed to taste your sauce you can now adjust to your taste see remember we've not added pepper so after tasting i'm adding in some hot pepper these are actually hot pepper stir this all together and test again and i tested so we are going on to add a seasoning powder and that is it guys so i had this leftover broccoli and cauliflower so just proceed to add it just add in your veggies because you need your veggies for this sauce and right now just proceed to add in your bell peppers i use yellow and red bell pepper for this just use any one you can find adding some onions if you like onions like me if you don't like just skip it out just proceed to stir everything all together and right now we are going to be mixing our thickener you won't want this to be watery so i'm using two tablespoons of corn flour and i'm going to dissolve this with water corn flour slurry is going to thicken up our sauce because you don't want it watery and a good alternative is to use your irish potatoes just mash it up and add it inside but in this case we are using corn flour for this so just adding the corn flour slurry into the sauce now and Proceed to add in your fresh leeks and your spring onion. Please don't miss this out in this sauce. Even though you can't get the two, just make sure to include your leeks. I just like the aroma and the taste fresh leeks gives to this sauce. So just add it in and stir this all together. Guys, this sauce is so good. So 
so we just need to leave it for few seconds or few seconds on fire let the sauce thicken up a little bit and let everything just marry together before taking this off fire just adding your blended sesame oil this is just going to take that taste to 100 percent remember we didn't use any oil to prepare this it was just our butter and this sesame oil you're using for flavor and that is it guys you have one of the most tastiest chicken curry sauce you ever make and one thing i always do is that i leave it this way you might seem very watery but don't worry once this gets a little bit cool the tea sauce is going to take it up guys have you subscribed to my channel are you a member of this community are you enjoying this recipe i know why i'm asking please just take a moment and hit the subscribe button below if you have enjoyed this recipe and make recipes like this you will like see guys like i told you the sauce is already ticking up you can see this was not the consistency that it had before and that is it And we have this very delicious and rich flavorful chicken curry sauce guys i'll be having mine with white rice a flavored white rice because this is not your ordinary meal let me know if you've been trying this recipe and if you have enjoyed this recipe please, please just give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting bye a merry christmas